Want to record? Okay, there we go. We're recording. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is another episode. B Black and I are back for another episode of uh, of the Times Up. I guess the bonus episode mm-hmm. of Mass Race Debaters. This week, uh, well, you you intro it this time because you had a good intro. All right, I liked it. Okay, boys and girls, this week I'm going to tell you what we're not going to talk about. We're not going to talk about Pusha T's response to Drake. We're not going to talk about Roseanne uh, Roseanne Barr's show getting canceled. And we're not going to talk about Sam B using the C word on Ivanka Truck justifiably and nearly and apologizing for that shit. No, what we are going to talk about and we deserve to is the death toll in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. I think that was inappropriate. And this is history in MRD podcast. Uh, the first Haitian to introduce the show. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it is. You are the first Haitian to introduce the show. That, I'm, very proud. I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> They're going to put you know up a I mean? monument for you. Knock down a Sir John A. McDonald monument. Put up one for B Black. Who's <laughs> about and B Black? All right. Hey. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start the clock. Uh, here we go, and we're going 25 minutes. Okay, so uh, yeah, you, great intro. Like his, uh, yeah, everyone's been reporting on Roseanne like crazy this week, and um, and 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 new numbers came out for the death toll in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. Um, do, you, do you, what did you, you did some research uh-huh. on this? So. What what did you find out with the death toll? What it's happened? interesting how so initially when when you proposed the, the topic, I was like, um, I was so unclear. I thought we were talking about a hurricane that happened recently, uh, but no, we're talking about the same hurricane that happened back in September uh, in the September time. Yeah, Irma was September tenth. That's the one we kept talking about, and 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 uh, Maria was September seventeenth. That's the same hurricane yep. where. Uh, the mayor of San Juan came out and said, yo, we're dying here. And Trump, oh, yeah, yeah. it was like, uh, what is it called that? Baller, uh, 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 doing threes with paper towels to the people of yeah, paper, paper towels. <laughs> you get a paper towel. You get a paper towel. You get a paper towel. <laughs> but again, and so the thing is, I guess back then, the numbers they said of the people who were affected by the death toll was only 64 people. And then Harvard mm-hmm. came out with a different count. And uh, now I rounded it out to 5,000, but I think it was like 4,600 and whatever. And, and, and shit like that. Yeah. Now, you got to think about it, right? Think about this. 4,600. 4, yeah. Think so, about yes, it, right? Yeah. You and I are doing the same math problem. That's how I looked at it, right? You get 64. I get 4,600. Yeah. That's fucked up. <laughs> I'm like, okay, either one of us can't count. <laughs> no, no, I got the same as you. I got 4,600. 4, yeah. But, but that first yeah, 64, that Jesus 64? Christ. Yeah, they were saying 64. Was it 64? That was the only yeah. death tolls they yeah. had? And then yeah. they, it, like, yeah. yeah that, that's insane. That's insane that that many people, and they're still yeah. suffering from that hurricane. Uh, in, in, and just to put it into perspective how much people give a fuck about how quickly mm. the news cycle turned because uh, they barely touched they barely ch- touched on it when it happened but like this week with, uh, with the Roseanne thing that just happened all right so um, uh, media matters came out with his uh, uh, with these with the I guess these graphs so Fox News spent 48 seconds covering <laughs> covering uh, covering uh, the Puerto Rico. And one hour and 56 minutes and 54 sec- oh, wow. seconds covering Roseanne. CNN spent 12 minutes and three seconds cool. covering Puerto Rico and four hours and 48 minutes, 48 cool. seconds for Roseanne. And MSNBC uh, spent 21 minutes and 18 seconds and three hours and 38 minutes, 45 seconds three on hours. Roseanne. Wow. So, like, wow. brown people dying wow. compared to white people being racist <laughs> is way more. But is that, you find that ah, in like this that? day and age? In this, okay, I'll be I'll be honest with you, right? So once I got the gist of what we were we were studying, and um, but I think the news is more of mm-hmm. how did we fuck up the count? I mean, fuck up the count. I like that count, you know, fuck yeah. up the count. Hey, you remember in the wire? I don't know if you remember that scene where uh, where he's he's teaching this yeah. young kid. Uh, oh, what's his name? The one who did Killmonger there. Um, uh, oh fuck! The, 
Michael yeah, B. Jordan's character, Jordan. right? Yeah. Wallace. Yeah, Wallace. Little Wallace. kid Wallace. how to do math, right? And he can't figure it out. But once he said, but once he uses the analogy of of drugs, the kid figures it out. And then he goes, How come you can figure that out this way, but you can't yeah. figure it out that way? He goes, Well, you fuck up the count, you die. So <laughs> that's what I thought about. So they yeah. the real news is how the government came out the government came out with 64 and Harvard came out with a bigger estimate. And they're like, they're saying, yo, you're way off. So the story is about, is more about, uh, yo, can you not, how do you not know how to count dead people? You know what I mean? I'm uh, as sensitive as I'm being here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I got two questions. First of all, like, what, is is are they that that question that what you're trying to say is trying to you roll into how can you forget the account but also yes. the coverage between yes. Dan and, 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 and are they are they, are they connected do you think are, are, is that and what that's what I'm I'm looking for a story a news because that, that's what I was looking for afterwards a news story to say yes Trump is a piece of shit asshole uh his people fucked up the count. And then, they, and then he called Roseanne to create a story that would, you know, so people would be distracted at the fact that they fucked up the count. Now, of course, no one, no, no one in the what? news story is saying right, is right. implying that. They're just saying the fact is this: the facts are these. Um, we got a racist president. <laughs> we got we got uh, a government giving us two different counts. Uh, excuse me, government giving us an initial count that was very low of the death toll of. Uh, of the people affected by Hurricane Maria and, and Harvard, this is Harvard University, I'm assuming, um, coming out with an estimate that's fucking it, it could be, it could be Harvard, it could be Harvard subs. It could be Harvard subs <laughs> and smoke meat shop. But I'm going to go, I'm right. going to go with the university. Okay. So, so, I mean, <laughs> and, okay, and yeah, and, and the fact that these, the, well, maybe that's what the problem, okay, so this is one theory. Maybe that's why uh, the news uh, outlets didn't cover the fuck up is because they can't find a smoking gun to say yes, uh, Trump, Trump caused Trump is is the reason for this number and um uh like for the high death toll and um and the and, and the the fact that he reported sixty four he was lying from the get go yeah. Well, let me let me let me just get into like some stuff here. Like like to me, it's there might be a parallel to the Roseanne thing, right? Like with, with the in terms of the coverage and what's going on. Like like everyone's like, oh, ABC was so great with Roseanne, right. you know, pulling the show. But ABC wanted to get in. They knew what yeah, Roseanne. Come on, she, they knew she was racist. What the fuck? Yeah. They wanted to get in bed with. And, and this and here's the parallel for me. Like this is the parallel for. Um, with with regards to Roseanne and Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico was in problems way before this. Um, before the the Maria Hurricane Maria, they were seventy oh, billion dollars in debt. They um seventy billion dollars in debt. They were they were their economy was slowly going to shit. They were defaulting on like uh, on like uh, 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 retirement funds and pensions and shit like that because they they they, they, they after recession in two thousand eight after the housing crisis. Every state in America was given, like, uh, 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 I guess, tax relief and well, and, and funds to uh, um, stimulate business and job except growth, except for Puerto Rico, because Puerto oh. Rico isn't treated like a state. Puerto Rico is mm. owned by America, and so um, this is what I'm saying: is like, is, is to me the parallel between Roseanne and 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 ABC, and like, mm. oh my God, they were so great. Is like. <sighs> I think like your idea with um with uh how how they're trying to uh uh, sh- uh you know make hide the numbers I guess if I mean that's conspiracy us going into hiding numbers but I think that the thing is, is that the mm. white supremacy uh the the, uh, mm. the capitalism has always been there and it's just the it's like it's not Roseanne isn't the problem it's that Roseanne uh, ABC is willing to make the the money and it's not that. A hurricane mm-hmm. Maria is the problem. It's that this country has been fucking like they, what they what what they've been doing is like they've been shipping out the best and the brightest mm-hmm. out of Puerto Rico. They've been giving like flights at half price, mm-hmm. one way tickets to big cities. So it's like mm-hmm. it's mainly old people in in Puerto Rico. And then when Trump says he wants to, you know, let, we got to forgive them in debt, he's right. But at the same time, it's like 
you have so many people uh-huh. invested in that economy. Like you have, you have, you have like it's mainly retail apparently that's invested in the the economy, but it's also, uh, you know, people who have pensions. So they would lose their pensions mm. in that economy. Uh, it, Puerto Rico's like Washington and and Guam and places like that. They can't. They have representation in in the st- in the Senate or in I, I, or Congress, but they can't vote because. Apparently, in the Constitution, here's here's a couple of uh, points I'll, I'll bring up, and I'll throw it back to you. In the Constitution, they and I'm going to quote: they're called huh? what did I say, alien, alien, called alien oh, race, God. alien races. So the Constitution, in so many words, and this was written in 18 something, uh, Puerto Rico isn't. They said that they, because they're alien race, they're not white people. Uh, they can't. They shouldn't have, they wouldn't understand the electoral process, nor should they have power in the electoral process. So America would like just to plant their flag and own the country. Um, And number two, uh, Strom uh, Strom Mm -hmm. Thurmond, right? In the 60s, he passed, 60s or 70s, he passed a bill where Puerto Rico can't um, uh, declare Uh. bankruptcy, right? For some reason, he passed that bill way back when, which is kind of like that's mm-hmm. damaging to the country too, right? And and the third thing I was gonna say, but I'm forgetting now is, uh, oh, when they say they were going to like when when Trump was going to visit some places in in uh, Puerto Rico, they only went to white places. They didn't go to the black. The black pla- uh-huh. as bad as the white places are, the black places mm. are way mm. fucking worse. I, I, so I'm I'm I, what I'm saying is like. The damage has been there for years. Like now, they, they've after the hurricane, they added another thirty billion dollars to their debt. So like like a hundred ninety wow. to a hundred uh-huh. billion dollars in debt. Like this is the damage has been there. They've been like they they had that that law. I forget the name of the law, but they, where it's like a, a foreign ship can't dock in Puerto uh-huh. Rico. They have to go to America first, and then go to Amer- and then go to Puerto Rico. So. If your business is water water related and you're on a waterway, you have to wait for it to go to America. It, it's just cheaper to go to America instead of going to Puerto. Puerto Rico has uh, been raped and robbed of its resources and, and it's the best and the brightest. And they're not and they weren't good at their oh, wow. Either, so wow. While while you were talking, um, yeah. I just looked up. Um, you, you just had me thinking about why did the Americans purchase or why did they want Puerto Rico in the first place? I used to think it was because of, and again, I'm exposing my his, my ignorance of history. I always thought it was a result of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Um, they're like, okay, yo, we need to keep an eye out on this fucking on on Cuba. So let's buy an island before um, let's let's buy an island to keep an eye on them. But it looks like they bought Puerto Rico back in 1898. Uh, 1898. So there goes yeah. that theory. All right, uh, that's one. Two. What island isn't broke right now? Doesn't isn't really in debt? Um, <laughs> isn't isn't in the situation Puerto Rico is in? And what made the United States buy them? Like, did they buy them with the debt and everything like that? Like, I have no idea. I, I like I I I, I tried to look up why of, yeah, they okay. bought them. I didn't really. But let's, okay, but let's establish. It. It's not, but it, if Puerto I'm Rico sure was a it was an island filled with white people, uh, yeah, no, I think. <laughs> they would have gotten some AIDS, like like the prop. The fact that they're still going, they have a, a, a. Actually, they're worried that the grid that they have now. No, not that they're worried. They know the current grid, which they're trying to repair now, won't won't make it in the next hurricane that hits them. The grid. Well, yeah, it, it, yeah, and, and and here's the thing. Here's why they're not cover covering it. It's because again. It's it's not big news. Like I, they, they, I was reading one of the articles, and they said in a study that um, that uh, most people do not have empathy oh, yeah. for people that yeah. don't look like them. They did a Harvard study, and and, and so that's why they don't cover this shit. So it's it, that's why Texas was like, oh my god, am I gonna? And then when Puerto Rico happens, like, yeah. ah, ah, okay, well it's not me. They, uh, the 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 idea that Puerto Rico isn't a state. They tried to become a state a hundred years ago. Uh, and that's still like no one's. Uh, they, they, apparently, that's not. Mm-hmm. It hasn't happened or isn't going to happen. And a lot of people in America look that's at Puerto Rico as the other. Like it's 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 it's, it's the yeah. other. It's not us. So that's why you know, you know Roseanne means more than 
or, right. or even push T stuff, which we were going to cover. Too. <laughs> so they knew, hey, look, man, we could talk about Puerto Rico, but I ain't going to sell papers. And we're trying to sell capitalism. It's, definitely. it's capitalism. Almost death. This is just so goddamn fucked that like human suffering. I love the fact you use the word human suffering. Um, you, you hear that story about uh, yeah. along the same line as human suffering. You hear the story about the dude in France who uh, this African dude who uh, uh, Spider Man up his way up uh, uh, a balcony to save some baby yeah. who was falling off a ledge. Um, what the fuck was that baby doing off a ledge on the first? Is is, a, is my first question, but that's a different story. That's outside. But anyways, but that dude um, apparently, you know, they got they gave him a reward and they gave him a citizenship to the country. Now, coincidentally, before yeah. I had seen before I had seen that footage, I, I was watching this quick documentary on Vice about uh, ah shit, I forgot the name of the country, the uh, the actual area, but there's a border in Morocco, and and this border shares land with Spain. Apparently, the same border is what protects Europe from not protect, but is what separates Europe from um, uh, migrants from Africa from coming in. Anyways, the, the documentary goes into like this. This border is well protected. There's a lot of gates and all kinds of shit. Very well protected. And yet they talk about how all these migrants, they gang up bum rush style, right? They gang up in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the thousands and they rush the gate because the mindset is, yo, they can't catch us all. Right. So my point Jesus. is they rush oh, the gate yeah, and they yeah. show you some of these guys, the way they climb these fences, like, like 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 Olympic athletes, like they, they trained themselves to. Well, when I saw those guys climb those fences, it reminded me of the same way the guy climbed that building to help that to, to save that poor baby. Right. Anyways, it's the idea that on one end, uh, uh good uh good little immigrant, uh, black immigrant here, we're giving you your citizenship, and then I'm thinking about. It's not even it's, it's not even good little black uh, immigrant. It's like superhuman uh, black uh, immigrant. <laughs> Like the average person can't climb a oh, building to shit. grab a baby. Like that that's, that's paid for that shit. You know it's I mean? like right off the. Re- it's like right off the red nosed reindeer, right? It's like he proved his value by being bang, extra bang. better oh, than everyone else. It, it, the point, it, the, the only point it, I'm making is it, it reminded me of when it comes to your anyone's opinion about immigration, whether you're on the side of close the gate or whether on the side of let them in. Okay. I don't care as long as your opinion is based around the idea that you're talking about human beings trying to, you know, trying to live, trying to make a better life for themselves. Look, I'm trying to escape something that's going to kill me. I'm hoping you'll let me in. Now, if you're on the side of, hey, I'm trying to protect resource, I get that. But once you start talking about immigrants, like they're cockroaches, oh, I got to kill you. I got to hurt you, man. But but even even with like your example of that guy climbing the building is like like I said superhuman it's is it, it, that's racist to me like it's because the idea is that he had to climb a goddamn yeah, super- building and save a baby to become a citizen yeah. before they go oh this man has value it, 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 and and like to 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 I don't know. If, but to, like, what does Puerto Rico have to do? Like, what, is, wow. what, do, what does Puerto Rico have to do? Like, like, do, do they have to be like, you know, you know, stock the entire team of the, <laughs> the, the New York Mets and like just take them to the World Series and everyone goes, you know what? Puerto Rico is a pretty exactly. good country. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like what that guy had to do, which is great. Right. Like I'm not trying to diminish what he did, but like fuck every immigrant's like uh, I gotta you know set up a baby. You know what I mean? Now, hey, yo, if you know anything there. about human beings, don't be surprised if like oh fuck, there's gonna be like oh shit. Why can't a, why can't an immigrant be lazy and come into the country? You know what I mean? Like why can't why can't it be an lazy immigrant? Like what is the problem with that? I don't understand. We have. In Canada, in, in North America, we have uh, two thirds of the of all mm. resources, of, especially food. Why can't why can't we do that? Mm. We have space. Mm. It's not like we don't have space. I, I, I don't know that, I, that 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 mentality. Like if Puerto Rico's Puerto Rico they're has to our, prove that they're like yeah. fuck. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're the best. And, and for before someone goes, uh, hey, you know what? We should pay attention uh-huh. to Puerto Rico. They they helped us out. It's the narrative. It's, it's the narrative of mm-hmm. white people again, right? It's the narrative of. How are you? Our capitalism. Yeah. Know, how do you benefit us? But, oh, that, you know what's fucked up, though, good, is that uh, I remember a Daily Show clip during the John Stewart days. He was talking about how 
all these states that are broke, that are in debt and relying on the government to keep them afloat, um, like Mississippi, all those backward ass, uh, um, um, you know, say oh, yeah, we, that's them. ignored. Yeah. You know, that's ignored. Sure, we'll pay their welfare, we'll take care of them, and all that. But when it comes to Puerto Rico, because I remember that clip of yep. of uh, of of Donald Trump. He's on TV and, and basically acting, look, man, look, you guys are a broke-ass country. You're lucky. You're lucky I'm even acknowledging you right now. You know, it's like, it's your fucking responsibility. They're American citizens. <laughs> I'm going to read a, I'm going to, I'm going to read a quote from the U.S. Supreme Court. This is, a, this, it, it, in 1901, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that Puerto Rico's mm-hmm. quote, and this is in quotes now, alien races differing from us in religion customs, laws, methods of taxation, and modes of thought, the administration of, of government and justice can't understand, at least for a time, Anglo-Saxon uh, principles. So parts of the Constitution wow. apply to the island. And that was, that, that, that was a decision by Henry Billings Brown in the Supreme Court. He was also famous for a separate equal, the ruling in the, for the um, Brown versus a Board of Education, which was a, a, a state-sponsored uh, segregation. So he, yeah, so a segregation guy, a, a racist guy decided who, who was behind, you know, part of the, you know, state sponsored segregation also made this ruling on Puerto Rico, which still stands in 2018. Wow. Even Obama didn't like get rid of it. Like it wow. still stands in 2018. Wow. It's a Supreme Court decision. Sorry. It, no, no, hey, yeah, I'm with you. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like uh, Puerto yeah. Rico is like their bastard child or something like that there. Mm. Fuck yeah, man! Guam and it's like, uh, but but then you're also a citizen, I guess. If you're, I don't know, man. That they're not worth <laughs> shit. Puerto Rico is. Not I don't worth we won't mean it like that, but technically, <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like yeah, man. Your parents don't like you, dude. <laughs> you know that's what I mean. Is like it, it's uh, their parents don't like. They just want to it's, know. You know, that know what I mean? Is that, that what it is? All I it. know is uh, when I went to. Um, the, all I know about Puerto Rico is when I went on a boat cruise with the family and we had to dock at, um, we had to dock at, um, yeah. um, it started at Puerto Rico. And, uh, first thing I told myself is, yeah, no fucking way I'm bringing weed <laughs> on this bag. <laughs> I fucked around <laughs> that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Any other island I'll fuck with, but yeah, no, not Puerto Rico. Yeah. I'll- I won't bring one weed in a domestic flight. I'm just like fuck it. That's not that encouraged that kind of shit. Yeah, no, no encouragement here. Yeah, stay no, in school, no, kids. No encouragement here. <laughs> no, nope. stay in school. Read a book. <laughs> but it, 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 I like I I I've, I've been on. I went from one side to the other with the Roseanne thing, and I and same with the the push of tea stuff and. It's very it, like it, like even about, like like I was saying uh, like we were gonna talk about it because like, it's very tempting. It's very tempting. It's it, it's like it's whoa, and it's like like and then I started thinking about like Flint, Michigan, and yes. I started thinking about like the indigenous people in Canada yeah. with a pipeline that just spilled, and I'm like, yeah, we should be talking about this shit, right? Like this Agreed. is like who, who the fuck cares if if Roseanne? Uh, agree, yo, high five, I'm sorry, high five, homeboy. Yeah, you say because. Oh yeah, yeah, because yeah, exactly, it's it's like Roseanne is is racist or or, or the Pusha T thing is all publicity. Like let's let's not let and, and Roseanne's racist, but ABC is also <laughs> racist. ABC doesn't mind dealing with. It. I I was at the gym today. <laughs> it's a bit of a brag, but I was at the gym today, and and the Steve Bannon's got like an hour long interview. Why? Right. Why is a racist getting an interview? Why is why is David Duke in the in the Senate? Like, why is he a governor? Like, why is racism always embraced? But then, like, you know, Colin Kaepernick can't get a job. Puerto Rico can't fucking uh, get at it. Is like they're yeah. dying. They got five thousand people uh, dead. Uh, uh, Flint the uh, yeah, water. It's, still it's like that like, saying that goes or the, the, the familiar post meme, whatever you want to call it. They said uh, racism is 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 American is so American that when you protest racism, people think you're protesting America. Yeah, it, we're in denial about it. We're in denial. Like we act yeah, like you know, oh, Beyonce. you know, racism disappeared after the Martin Luther King. I I have a dream speech, and then every time it pops up, we're oh 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 shit, someone said something racist. Oh shit, someone did something racist. Oh shit. 
But, but even worse, it's big business. Like, like even worse. Like, like when you look at like um how they covered Roseanne over, they covered Puerto Rico. And like, does anyone talk about Flint? Like, does anyone talk about any of? Like, it's it's it, they right. will embrace a clan right. member. They will embrace someone like Roseanne. They will embrace that before giving voice to uh-huh. you know people that really need a voice. Like, what the. F- what the you, fuck you go, is going on? Is that capitalism? Is that what I'm I'm I, like, that, I'm wondering people, if we were the group who enslaved white people, right? And then then we freed them after was it 300, 400, whatever the fuck time, okay? And uh and then let them fend for themselves to get their human rights. Like, how many generations of black people how many generations would it take yeah. for me to be like, you know what, these white folks are uh, human beings just like us. We gotta cut out this racism shit. Like what I you know what I mean? <laughs> Well, because well, like what you're saying is like, yeah, okay, so we 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 let the, but then like what? Okay, so we give it's a generation. We get say we get to the point as black people, we give white people civil rights, but then we only want to hear their problems when it's we reflected want to hear the, in our the, narrative. A lot of people. Are yeah, so so like like what, what's happening with Puerto Rico and like Roseanne being covered is. I want to hear the story that matters to me. Like it goes back to the study was the story we're over, we we just hit our time, but the study was uh, out. It was in 2007. It was just after Katrina and they did a study of why people mm. didn't care, why the news coverage was very low. Mm. And it was basically, they don't look like us. So yeah. it, 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 it is again, it's white fragility. It's like to talk about Puerto Rico takes away yeah, from, yeah. Like, yeah. it doesn't affect me. Uh, 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 that fucking affects me. Right. It. So, like you're saying, if we were black, what you're saying we were black people. We, we <laughs> Maybe I should do like white people. I'm saying, I'm saying, if we shit. were black, <laughs> we we be better. We be better at ending racism. I mean, I'm, we, I'm, we, I'm, we, I'm, being, had, I'm being racist by saying that. Yeah. <laughs> I say, if we were, if we enslaved white people, but why okay, would we? And we would have given them all their rights after after the emancipation. Uh, <laughs> after as soon as our, our version of Lincoln gave them their freedom, <laughs> we'd be like, you know what? You're people just like us. I tell you what. Let you move in my place, get your own job. You know what I mean? <laughs> Our version of Lincoln. Our version of Lincoln. Richard Roundtree. <laughs> Shaft. <It> was <laughs> Shaft. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Here's the thing, right? Like you say this every time on the podcast, and you've ne- it's the most it's the most right mm. thing that we've said on this podcast. And you say it is. White people have not had time right. to fucking heal from it either. Like if we if we were in the same position after three hundred and how many fucking years of running and be and before that, before that with like when with colonialism and England and all that shit, everything like before all that, like we're talking only three hundred years of slavery and a hundred mm-hmm. years of Jim Crow, and whatever. But even before that, if if we went through a system where scientific we we mm-hmm. believed in science that was like, oh, we are better. How would we get to a point where we're like, oh, these people that we we felt were better than and more powerful, and uh-huh. uh, and we're still in charge? <laughs> we let's look at them as equals because we can't. <laughs> it's impossible to look at them and go, oh, well, yeah, you know what? You're still there. We're still the other. We're still the other. So our stories uh-huh. is other. Our stories don't mean stuff. So like, to, to, for for example, Hurricane Katrina or Flint or Puerto Rico is like, well. <sighs> Again, they got to pull it. The narrative in Puerto Rico is pull up your bootstraps makes more yes. sense than to go in depth and find out what's really happening. They need to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. So it's like we would be in the same situation you going, well, fuck what, these fuck people, what we mean. did it. What the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> no, 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 no free ride. Not, no, not on my watch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we haven't had to deal with the truth of shit. We haven't had to sit there and sit there and go, okay, well, <laughs> why the fuck is this like this? Why are we covering Roseanne? It, it, it's, that's not even a question to say, oh, why are we covering Roseanne more than we're covering Puerto Rico? That's not even a question. It's not even a thought. Only, you know, it's not even, like, for the average person, I don't mean every white person, but it's not even a thought. It's not even like, oh, yeah, why, why is Roseanne covered more than Puerto Rico? Like as, more, as far as most people are concerned, Puerto Rico's done, or it's or it's like Afghanistan. It's and like, there's so still work going on it's there. It's not our country. Right. Who gives a fuck? That shit is exactly. right. right. But Puerto Rico right. is America. Uh, uh, Puerto Rico is America. I don't. It's not sexy enough. 
it's not sexy enough. You know what it is? You, okay, you gotta show uh, like hot Puerto Ricans it, um, go, going through some shit. They'll be like, oh, whoa, we gotta do something about this. You know? <laughs> or you make it Alabama, like you said, like if it was poor, it's like Alabama is a shit. Hole. The South is shitholes. They're all you know, shit holes. Not just Their economically. There's a lot of dumb people. Their just brains are shitholes. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, based on statistic, it's a shithole. And, and 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 they will still like you know do they send aid? Yeah, they would sell aid to them. They will help them out. They do it all the time. But you got a, a, an uh, island full of brown people and black people. You go, oh well, they're not really American. Yeah, they're American. You don't really. I don't really. They're the fifth. They should be the fifty second uh, <laughs> state. But they, uh, yeah, <laughs> we already got too many colored folks. <laughs> it's, 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 I, I yes, I think privilege is just a level. It's just mm-hmm. levels of narcissism. Is really what it is. It's just levels of me, me, me. So if you're like a white male, you have the mm. most narcissism, and it just goes down from there. It's just levels of narcissism. It's 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 the ability to ignore other uh, people's pain uh-huh. and, and so, just make it. Yeah, we, yeah, we gotta encourage our listeners to 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 send some feedback. Uh, you know, what do you, what do you think about this? You know what I mean? yeah, send us well, some feedback. Well, tell us what we're. Yeah, <laughs> send us some drawings of us. I wonder, and, I wonder if there's someone. <laughs> come on, guys, stop making it about race. You know what I mean? I'm sure Puerto Ricans are getting well, exactly you, what they deserve. Well, you, yeah, well, yeah, Puerto Ricans. Yeah, they they should open some convenience stores. Maybe, maybe if if uh, what are those uh, money money? What are those money marts? Can you get a couple of money marts in there? A couple of dispensaries. I was actually would, worried I was gonna spit out opinions like that. Um, I meant to give you a heads up because I heard the new Kanye and. Um, <laughs> I don't blame yeah, I'm, whatever. I'm not paying for it. Listen, anyway, whatever, man. And, and I'm worried that whatever caused him to be the way he is. He put some subliminal message, and next thing you know, I'm like, you know, tap dancing and <laughs> laughing. <laughs> in your Make America Great Again cowboy hat. <laughs> you just go, you go further, you go all cowboy hat with like an hey, man. Hey, on hey, it. real quick before we leave, uh, I want to send, uh, uh, I want to thank you uh, for accommodating mm. this time, this block of time. Uh, I'm going to tell, tell this to the listeners, right? Uh, Gavin and I had a conflict of time, and, and I know he's the married guy, and I'm the singles guy, yeah. and I appreciate the fact that the the married guy accommodated for the single guy. He said, yo, can we record at this time instead? I'm like, uh, we can, what? but, and that's all he needed to hear. He was like, okay, all right, fuck it. I'll move my point. <laughs> you could potentially get laid. Well, where am I at? Well, because you said let's do the evening. I'm like, hey, okay, let's do the. Evening. But in in fairness to you, I didn't respond back hey, to I'm you sure. right away. I should have said, hey, yeah, yeah, let's do the evening. So in fairness yeah, to I'm you, sure it's say, a, you, you respected it's the bro cool. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's a bro shit. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 42. There's no point in fighting people. I was like, okay, well, we'll do it now. It's only it's half worth hour. it. No, I had fun, man. No, I'm, yo, I'm glad it, we though. covered this topic because even I was so caught up in in regular bullshit. I'm like Puerto Rico. What about Puerto Rico? Then I'm ready. I'm like, oh wow. Yeah, I know. yeah, man. Dude, I'm the same. I was losing my deed as a human being, man. I'm losing same. my soul as a human being by not caring. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I just got your message. We hit 20 minutes. Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you very much. Remember, uh, you can find us at uh, on uh, on Twitter at MRD Podcast, on Facebook at MRD Podcast, on Instagram at MRD Podcast, and and you can email us at Master uh, RD or Master Race Debaters at gmail dot com. Uh, yeah, send us your comments, questions, or whatever. Uh, you know what let I mean? us yeah. know what you want. Us to if talk this about. podcast That'd is awesome. pissing you off, we want to hear from you. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be that'd be really interesting. We, we'll, like, if you have a letter that's like, <laughs> like the root, we'll read it on here. We'll do it. All right, perfect, man. Yo, all, all right, right, B. Thanks a lot.